my favorite stories about BCAR is uh, a widow came to our open house one day and she was looking really lost and she was very lonely and she had lost her husband just a couple of months ago before that and she was looking to maybe adopt a kitten so I talked her into two kittens two siblings and she came back a month or two later to tell us how wonderful it was how we had just saved her life and it reminded me quite forcibly of the fact that we're not only helping these animals but we're also helping the people who adopt them that we're making a difference in people's lives and that makes me feel really good about what we do. Um, one afternoon last year, Trina from the maintenance yard called me and a guy had shown up with a dump truck. He had been doing something with a dump truck up on top of one of the mountains and he heard this little cry and he went back and searched the back of the truck and found this tiny little kitten. Couldn't, it was under a pound, I'm sure. And so he took it to Trina and wanted to know what to do. And she called me and I, of course, ran over there. And I just got so tickled because there was this big mountain of a man, just a big burly man. And he was holding this tiny little kitten up against his chest. And he looked so helpless. He said, I don't know what to do. I just don't know what to do. So I took her, of course, and took her home. And we got her vetted and we found a foster for her. I called her Dirty Harry because she was all full of everything that you can imagine that's in the back of a dump truck. But after the vet visit, we had to change it to Harriet because he was a she. And as I say, we found a foster for her and she was so cute and so adorable that the foster ended up adopting her. Mm -hmm.